in terms of uh, what is the required skills, required responsibilities that you need to perform as a snowflake uh, developer, engineer, or as an architect. Okay, these are all the things that you are going to take a overview within this particular course. Okay, and uh, kindly understand this is only the demo that we are going to have. Okay, but uh, uh, Harsha Trainings and myself uh, will be letting you know the exact date when the course is expected to kick off. Okay, these are the initial things that I want to let you know before we get into this uh, Snowflake uh, demo session. I sincerely, wholeheartedly, warm welcome you all for this particular demo. And uh, let's talk uh, what exactly is this Snowflake. I hope uh, Manos, Bhaskar and uh, Remy, I hope you are seeing my screen, right? Yeah, it's visible. Cool. So a Snowflake is a data cloud computing platform. OK, now I hope uh, and I expect uh, those people who are the audience for this particular demo might be having a bit of background with respect to the database and uh, they know what is uh, SQL. And uh, I don't expect you to know what is cloud. What is cloud? Okay, so for the next 45 days of course, we'll be only talking about the data, the cloud, and then uh, the information. These are the three things that we are really going to discuss in this one. Okay, so I welcome you to this uh, cloud computing platform, which is nothing but your Snowflake. And we are going to unleash the power of this technology with respect to this uh, Snowflake uh, cloud computing platform. So basically, this Snowflake cloud computing platform is basically a data engineering uh, skill set, predominantly. And along with the uh, data engineering skill set, uh, you will be gaining uh, some skills on uh, data analyst, as well as uh, some data scientist skills also you will be acquiring. And uh, a couple of uh, some Predictive analytics also you'll be acquiring in this particular curriculum here, basically. Okay, and don't worry about this uh, uh, date. So this is my fourth or fifth batch that I'm dealing in Snowflake uh, from the last uh, two months. Okay, so we basically do this uh, data analysis and we do this uh, data integrations within the Snowflake. Okay, so the course objective is like this. We are going to have the hands-on experience on all the Snowflake features. Before we talk about that Snowflake, uh, we're going to have this uh, hands-on experience on this uh, Snowflake features with the live examples. And then uh, theory and practice side-by-side uh, -side we are going to do. Not only the practice and theory, what we do in the book, but we'll also be talking about the best practices and the pros and cons uh, of each and every feature of Snowflake along with uh, in what scenarios, what you are expected to do and uh, what you are not expected to do, all those particular things will be seen in live. And one more thing, what I'm expecting is, please follow this slide here. No prerequisite is uh, required to learn this snowflake, but it would be nice if the candidate is having a better awareness of this cloud, what is cloud and what is this uh, data warehousing concepts that will help you understand the scenarios better. Even if you don't understand data warehouse, uh, if you understand something about database, that will be sufficient. At least you know a database is nothing but a hub of information that can be used for your uh, reports and analysis. And uh, cloud is something which is not in your uh, building or on-premise. It is something in uh, AWS, Azure, or uh, Google Cloud. If you understand those things, that would be a great start uh, that we can start off. And I assume whoever all the participants uh, who are participating in this program, I assume that uh, they have some slight knowledge about these things uh, in order to take up these particular things here. So today's agenda, we'll be talking about the introduction about the Snowflake, the Snowflake ecosystem, what are the benefits that you are going to have, 
the job opportunities and the skills and uh, what is the demand of the job market what you have and then uh, how to get started with snowflake uh, along with uh, a brief uh, question and answer session that we are going to see in this particular course and everything here is going to be time bound okay so before that one i just want to show you who i am basically my name is uh, ravi ravi having uh, more than two decades of experience in uh, it mostly on uh, data platforms i worked as a uh, etl developer the data engineer the data scientist and then i also have worked as a machine learning engineer also as well and uh, i am in florida working for the state and uh, i generally do these uh, boot camps by partnering with uh, the famous uh, institutions and uh, boot camps is my passion basically i'm data architect turned data scientist and machine learning practitioner only one thing is that uh, let us do something better with respect to the data okay i also offer this data engineering data science machine learning and artificial intelligence boot camps also as well third thing is that uh, i focus on uh, only the data experimenting the data analysis visualizing large data sets multiple etl pipelines detecting the anomalies and providing the key metrics to guide this particular product these are all the things i'll do and then partner and then uh, mentoring data engineers uh, so far i am having uh, around uh, 125 snowflake uh, scholars in my group from the last uh, one month i work on this cloud era data bricks uh, aws data analytics along with gcp also as well my mission is to build careers for the people uh, who are uh, really interested in uh, getting their careers cross skill and then want to move into a better space that's what i do basically and then i'm passionate about troubleshooting technical issues and sharing my knowledge to the other basically i have a couple of blogs that you can reach out to me and uh, i can share you that information and with respect to harsha technologies uh, this is my second batch in the this is the second month right september we have started one batch and this is the second batch that we are having here okay i welcome you all for this particular training okay now this is not a normal training but this is a boot camp why this is a boot camp is uh, uh, i educate you along with the train you and get you ready for the job market get you ready for the job market the only intention is uh, getting you ready for the market that is only the intention because we do these things with a passion i'm from us i'm working in this odd hours uh, to train people in order to make their careers better along with the, the other things also as well and i told you like boot camps are an excellent way to learn your career ready skills uh, in a relatively short amount of time i really don't drag uh, months and months uh, to complete these particular things i'll be having a very time sensitive capsulated modules where uh, i'll be teaching you the depth and end to end of your snowflake uh, trying to focus on the scenarios what are really required for the market and then uh, make you ready for those certifications also as well this is how this course is expected to start i want to make you as a seasoned professional seasoned professional in the sense uh, not only that uh, you will be getting the techniques with respect to snowflake but if uh, there are other competitors like aws data engineering or azure data bricks or uh, gcp also as well gcp bigquery you will be able to scale up to those particular technologies within no time that means that uh, what you'll be doing is you will be you will be learning these particular skills and applying them onto the various technologies also as well so that's why technology is only the namesake that you have but uh, you will be mastering the underlying concepts of this data engineering and data analytics in this particular course guys uh, can you please tell me who are the people who have come from uh, kartikeyan shankar's reference from chennai is it shravan i don't know if, if that is yes uh, say yes uh, in the chat window if you can now buzzwords these are all the things that we are going to see in this one uh, here go ahead are you able to hear me yes sir so uh, kartik referred 
this. What's your name? Remington. Flemington? Remington. Remington. R E M I N G T. Okay, Remington. Remy. Okay, okay. Thanks, Remy, for joining. Thank you so much. Okay. Good morning to you too. And good morning to all the people who have joined from Harsha Technologies and from my references also as well. Okay. So here in, in this uh, total thing, what we do is that we talk about this uh, data storage, compute, networking, memory, cloud, on-premise, as I have told you, right, the database, data warehouse, massive parallel processing. These are all the things uh, uh, that will be joining in and out of this particular uh, uh, Snowflake uh, data warehousing course. These are all the things that we are going to see. Don't worry, we will be seeing them later in depth into the course once we go there. Okay, so introduction to Snowflake, uh, the first thing what we can say is that in layman terms, Snowflake is like a super advanced and efficient uh, storage and analysis system. Here, we store the data for analysis only for large amounts of data. When you say something like large amounts of data, it is not a gigabytes, terabytes or petabytes. Even exabytes of amount of data can be stored here, basically. Okay, uh, it is a high-tech data warehouse. Data warehouse is nothing but a database that can be used for uh, reporting and analysis. That can be used for reporting and analysis. And uh, this is a high-tech data warehouse which exists within the cloud uh, for the purpose of uh, powerful analytics, including data science and machine learning, also as well. This is what is Snowflake. And third one, second thing is that Snowflake uh, is not a regular warehouse, but it is a magical warehouse. Magical warehouse in the sense, uh, what are the traditional data warehouses that you have seen in the market? Uh, uh, we are not going to use them because this is a magical data warehouse. Because the way we are going to build your uh, data strategies, the way you are going to build your ETL pipelines, the way you are going to do your analytics uh, is going to be very efficient, very smart, okay, very, very smart techniques that we are going to use. Uh, we are not going to spend that much amount of laborious hours uh, for the purpose of uh, building your ETL pipelines within Snowflake. That's the reason it is said to be a magical data warehouse. We'll be seeing what type of magic you're going to have in this particular case. The third thing what you're having is uh, it is in the cloud. When I say it is in the cloud, it is not in your office or else it is not in your data center. It is always existing within your uh, cloud. So what is that cloud also will be seeing here basically. Okay. Now, the third thing is that it is super fast. A, a data warehouse, traditional data warehouse that you create within your uh, office or within your enterprise uh, might take uh, some one year to one and a half year for the purpose of completing your project. But this one can be created within one or two months. You'll be able to create your data warehouse and make it production ready within one or two months, basically. That's why the time difference and the agility and the speed which you can make your data warehouse productive is going to be within a matter of no time. That's why it's going to be super fast. And then it is going to have something like it can handle tons of data, as I have told you, right? Humongous exabytes of data also it can have the capability to process. And another thing what you have is that it is super smart. It can have the option of uh, capturing all the types of structured and semi-structured data, as well as it can be able to pull the data from your on-premise system, from the cloud, from IoT devices, from the streams, anything it will be able to do. That's why it is super smart. And another thing what you're having is it is secure. So whatever all the security mechanisms that the cloud providers like uh, AWS, Azure and Google provide, all those particular features uh, happens to be with respect to this uh, super uh, magical data warehouse, which is a snowflake. Manoj, I hope you're understanding, right? Manoj Kumar? Yeah. 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 So that's why this is what is your uh, Snowflake data warehouse. Trust me and trust Harsha Technologies, Harsha Trainings. We are going to give you a, a very good quality Snowflake course that will make you market ready as well as that will make you to go for this uh, 
snow pro course certification along with the arctic certification also as well that is my promise okay that is how this uh, snowflake is going to be there basically it is a cloud based uh, data warehouse that can be used for reporting and analytics that can handle tons of data as well as that can also have the capability to be developed within very super fast uh, build time that is what is your snowflake in essence okay now it's going to be a new platform adoption for example whenever you want to think uh, moving to a new technology obviously what happens is that uh, things are really different the data earlier was there only in your relational systems but now the data is everywhere data is like a highly inflammable right just like the way you have seen the crowd in uh, lulu market one of us have seen that lulu mall day before yesterday how many crowds of people has come yes daily we are watching that memes on that also yeah much more than that uh, this data is in highly explosion so much giga exabytes of data is being generated and then uh, and the rise of the cloud also as well cloud is uh, really gaining so much momentum these days okay everything happens within the cloud and the third thing is that uh, diversification of analytics the days where we have used the cognos business objects uh, uh, all the other tools like micro strategy those tools are gone people have matured their trends are changing their uh, thinking is changing their mindset is changing and the way what they want is they want to have the quicker response within no time quick response within no time so this is something like uh, when you are driving a tesla car or uh, when you are trying to do this weather forecasting i just want to respond based on the information that i'm getting so such type of analytics is called as a reactive analytics not a responsive analytics that's the reason this new technology is going to dictate the way how we are going to use this particular data here okay now taking a platform approach leads to a big business impact i hope uh, and i expect and respect you all your guys uh, have been working in your respective platforms trying to shift to this snow, snowflake platform or learn even learn to a snowflake platform it itself is a big change itself is a big change for you when this is a big thing for you think about the organizations they are, they need to invest uh, some millions of dollars and uh, they need to make sure that they need to up, upskill their staff also as well in order to use the new products and uh, they need to reduce the cost and then they need to give a greater customer experience with the data greater customer experience with the data that's the reason when you shift from one technology to another technology one programming language to different programming language or one cloud to some other cloud what happens is that that is a transition that happens the transition will be having a lot of uh, behind the scenes battles that we need to do in order to make sure that we do that particular change you, you agree with me manoj kumar yeah got it actually my organization has only changed it to the snowflake yeah previously it used to do the altrix so oh, altrix is an etl tool that they use uh, for doing their uh, etl loads basically yeah, yeah previously that yeah uh you have this altrix you have this uh, metalian is there uh you have something like uh, the new things that are really coming into the market yeah, but we will be using only small as we are uh, doing yeah. with the validations and all the testings mm-hmm. so yeah we will be working on some uh, basic things only glad that uh, you have been into this game already thank you manush yeah yeah thank no. you when you when you have your journey to your cloud computing platform see here earlier we have your on premise data warehouses where uh, in the past people has used uh, informatica data stage business objects data services sap bw business warehouse these are all the things that they have used then the concept of big data has come into the market people are not satisfied with that big data because uh, the map reduce programs uh, and the clusters they need to maintain and then uh, big data was not used to process your real time data it only used to process only your uh, batch data only that's the reason 
the new technology what you are come here is that uh, apache spark has come into the market apache spark okay and then that also have its limitations after bypassing all these limitations because uh, in this uh, uh, hadoop data lake and first generation cloud uh, remi fani kalyan shravan and uh, srinivas what we are supposed to do is that uh, we are supposed to learn multiple skill sets like uh, for example even in this uh, hadoop itself we need to learn pig we need to learn this map reduce hive hbase okay and then flume okay these are all the things that we need to learn in order to implement all those particular technologies which was a uh, confusion that really goes into the learning process there is a lot of learning curve that you need to do but this snowflake what it has become is that it has become as a simplified interface if you are good at sql you can do wonders if you are good at sql you can do magic if you are good at sql you will be able to develop a very powerful at efficient uh, etl routines that you can develop uh, in order to use this particular cloud computing platforms i hope mitchell kagar you are following these are all the things that we do within the journey of this particular cloud okay now when we try to compare this architectures uh, between these two things see what happens here this was your traditional data warehousing architecture where you have the different data sources what you are having uh, nowadays uh, the data is being generated with so many things right the oldp databases the enterprise uh, erp applications like people soft uh, and uh, sap the third party systems that you have twitter is uh, creating a lot of things and ktr uh, tweets a tweet uh, that will be having an anonymous response basically right when the politicians so there is a lot of things that happens and there is a lot of uh, weblog data also that we need to analyze for that particular purpose uh, we do this uh, data integration with the help of this uh, etl thing then we use the data transformations with the help of this data lake sparks and all those particular things then we create this data warehouses with the help of this summarizations and aggregations then we do this data analytics and finally you have this data consumers funny kalyan and shravan and srinivas so don't you think that it is really a tedious and cumbersome process uh, in order to make sure that you take this data to the hands of this consumers uh, you need to go through a long and tedious journey in order to make these things happen do you agree with me funny kalyan yes so yes sir yeah that means that uh, you need to have you need to have uh, a lot of uh, skill set a lot of learning a lot of routines a lot of procedures a lot of troubleshooting a lot of clusters these are all the things that you need to maintain uh, in order to make sure that uh, you try to get into this uh, reporting and analytics with the help of this data consumers this is what is your traditional data architecture okay the moment uh, once you come on to this uh, futuristic visionary in the case of the snowflake it is going to be really simplified really simplified i think uh, remington you will be able to see the difference here earlier there are so many things that you have seen here but now when you see here you are going to have only one etl stream that you can do with the help of snowflake and on the snowflake ecosystem itself uh, you can have the option of uh, creating the different types of data warehousing data lake uh, data engineering and data analytical applications with respect to the snowflake itself and then uh, the operational reporting analytical reports and real time reporting can happen uh, uh, within snowflake also as well in this particular case let's ask your question so this is what is your modern data warehousing architecture with snowflake so in in what i am trying to tell you here is uh, please follow carefully when you start using snowflake the life becomes simplified the architecture becomes simplified the etl routines that you develop becomes simplified the internal ecosystem and the database objects what you use becomes simplified and then you will be able to work with the help of a simplified interface with a small learning curve at uh, you will be able to create a powerful and magnificent uh, etl routines for the purpose of doing this real time analytics that is the difference between your uh, the previous uh, traditional computing architectures with respect to the 
modern data architecture with respect to this snowflake. This is what we are going to see in this particular course. That's why we start from the very basic ground up. We start with the cloud, we start with a data warehouse, and then we club these two things, and then we create the snowflake architecture. And within this particular snowflake architecture, we deal with each and every issue that is really required in order to create this effective data pipelines and analytics. So that's why in the whole warehousing ecosystem, there are three things that you're going to do, Baskar. One is uh, modeling your data warehouse. The second thing is uh, the data engineering for creating your effective data pipelines. And third thing is uh, integrating your Snowflake with uh, the third party reporting tools like uh, Tableau and Power BI and Python and uh, generating all those uh, visual analytics and all those particular things uh, we'll see in this particular course. So far, so good. Are any questions you're having? Please let me know. So, fire away. Is it uh, essential to learn SQL before uh, knowing the snowflake? Uh, having SQL knowledge happens to be good, but even if you don't have the SQL knowledge, uh, I'll be taking you through the SQL journey along with this uh, snowflake journey also as well. So, you'll be you'll be will be working on these SQL queries from starting to ending. By the time you'll be completing, uh, I'll tell you that you'll be reasonably good at SQL at the end of this particular course. And on top of that one. I'll be providing you the SQL tutorials that you need to go through in order to make yourself uh, a bit proficient with the SQL also as well, Manoj Kumar. Does it help your question? Yeah, thank you. Mm. Any other questions, guys? Please let me know. Sir, final answer. Tell me, sir. Uh, I have completed AWS DevOps in Harsha training, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, is it is it uh, Snowflake helpful to that, sir? Of course, Snowflake is going to be helpful to you, especially if you want to if you want to settle a career with respect to analytics, the data analytics, and you want to work with respect to the data, utilizing all the features that you have used in AWS. This is going to be helpful for you, sir. Basically, that helps. And uh, okay, sir. Yeah. And uh, to join this course are not easy or choice, but once you join, I'll make sure that uh, you'll be having a good uh, additions to what you have learned uh, in that AWS also as well. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir, current current marketing job openings are slow breaks. Uh, in the uh, brother uh, Manos Kumar Jeparjushara, they have started Snowflake in their market. So, what are the companies that have started uh, that have their data warehousing or data analytical applications? They are considering this particular Snowflake as the futuristic vision. That's why the market is going to be promising. I don't say that today market is going to be super good today, but market is good for Snowflake. You have got a lot of opportunities that are there in the market. If you sincerely try for those particular jobs, and then this market is going to be consistent for the next uh, 10 years of time. That much I can tell you. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Uh, nowadays, the all were uh, concluding the, with the snowflakes only as the cost of the yeah. uh, tool is also very low compared to the other one. So mm. my organization, they changed from Alteryx to Snowflake. Yeah. So might be in future, the all will be the... Uh, the product based things they will be transferring to snowflake itself mm. okay now <clears throat> i told you right there is see here when um, manas kumar has told something like all are considering snowflake as their futuristic data warehousing platform that means that it is going to be one platform you don't need to learn a jack of multiple things one platform, one copy of the data, one database. There is no, in big data, you have this high, you have SBase, you have something else, you have PIG, all those particular things are the, the HDFS also is there. But here you have only one thing that is really required. That is only one copy of the data. And then 
near zero maintenance there is no specific uh, dedicated dba that is required to work with snowflake the so called developer or the architect itself will be able to manage these particular things and then it is going to have a very powerful governed access governed access to this all the particular data in this particular course that's the reason um, that's the reason what we do is that uh, we we when compared to the previous architectures and when we compare to this uh, tradition modern reporting snowflake architecture it is going to be a way different what you have worked earlier that's why people or organizations are tending to use this particular cloud data platform trust me it is going to give you an extra mile than what you are having right now basically so that's why modern data warehousing to deliver faster data it can be used for this data engineering and data lake ipudu when you have used a big data i know how much trouble it was uh, in order to build this powerful uh, data lakes over there in s3 the data lake creation is going to be really tedious and cumbersome but in snowflake uh, it is going to be far far efficient uh, than what you have worked with the earlier data lakes and uh, the data applications and data science applications can be used based on this uh, platform so only one thing is that it is one platform with one copy of the data with uh, many workloads that you are going to use in this particular case is that clear to you guys now see here when you have this snowflake all the etl process what you are having here structured and semi structured data everything is going to be done very efficiently very transparently along with the, it is going to be done in a very simplified interfaces basically with only sql you will be able to do all these particular things the production the governance the etl the sharing of data the elt etl everything is going to happen only with the help of this uh, simple sql commands that's the reason this is gaining much more popularity than what you have seen in the market okay so here 2014 is the place uh, where we have mobilized this data into the cloud 14 started snowflake busted the limitations of the fixed uh, capacity on premise environments that is the people when people started mobilizing the data to the cloud okay then uh, we have this uh, connected data not only that one what they did is that uh, they data cloud connected all data regardless of the cloud provider in the region bringing all the data to this one that means that uh, it created a wonderful data warehousing capabilities by 2018 but the now in 2022 what it is doing is that uh, it is not only integrating all this particular data but it is also integrating all your applications also as well that is the place where we are in right now so it started only with the data then it started with your uh, all the data integrated from all the cloud providers in 2018 and then uh, 2022 we have this thing uh, we have this uh, integrations and applications everything happening only within the cloud and nothing on on premise that's how this this is gaining a popularity in this particular case okay is that clear to you no the benefits of snowflake when you want to see i have told you right it analyzes all the data of all the data types and there is no need for you to do this upfront cost you pay only as you go model basically you pay only as you go in this particular case and then there is a good uh, performance and optimization that happens now analytics and data strategy happens to be the thing that is going to happen here and uh, the maintenance and management are also going to be very simplified in the case of this uh, snowflake that's why it provides a lot of benefits uh, that we can see in the course basically okay now journey to the data cloud like this we started with on premise data we started with the uh, first generation data lake then into the public cloud then uh, finally where we are here is that uh, we are there into this uh, uh, data warehousing uh, environment basically okay now take a wish one platform because 
there is no need for you to work on these uh, multiple platforms. This is one platform that exists. The second thing is that uh, powering many workloads, many types of different applications, the data warehouse, the data lake, uh, the data engineering, AL and MI, A and ML applications, cybersecurity applications, everything will work with here with the help of this marketplace and uh, governor collaboration with all the third party integrations also as well. Uh, as uh, Manoj is saying, uh, uh, earlier you used to have Altrix, uh, but right now people are using Metalion for integrating with this uh, Snowflake workloads also as well. So it provides all the integrations with respect to the different marketplaces also as well. Then other thing what you're having is, uh, see, in April 2020, we have this much cloud customers we are having here. Now, it's not that Manoj, the customers have grown. This is not my thing. This is the thing that has been taken from Snowflake. The customers has increased enormously from this time to this time. That's why many people are really shifting to Snowflake uh, in order to make these particular things happen. Okay. That's why the job market, not only the job market, the industries are all shifting uh, towards this thing in order to make this happen in this particular case. Okay. Now, job roles. Basically, you can, of course, these are all the boot camps that I generally do, but uh, here you will be focusing on this data engineer as well as you will be focusing on this data analyst also as well. These are the two things that you are going to focus within this uh, Snowflake. So that means that uh, the moment once you complete this particular course, uh, you can very well be capable of uh, trying to apply for either one of these particular two things. Predominantly, we'll be doing this uh, data engineer. So if you ask me who exactly is a data engineer, what we can say is that uh, any place, any type of data, any type of frequency, and any type of consumer, you should be able to provide uh, very efficient uh, ETL pipelines uh, in order to extract, transform, load, curate, and then provide the data into a friendly format to the consumers. That is what is the role of your uh, data engineer. That is one thing that we are going to do in this particular course. Skills required. What are the skills that are really required? Somebody is asking, is SQL really required? Yes, sir. SQL is required. You should be good with respect to this data modeling. I told you, right? Three things you'll be doing here. What are those three things? Those three things are something like, uh, uh, those three things are something like, uh, SQL is important, modeling is important, developing your ETL pipelines is important. This is also the integration that we do here. Along with, uh, we also will be producing these uh, efficient uh, pipelines for the purpose of uh, doing your reporting and analytics also as well in this particular course. That's why these things are really super important uh, once you start doing this particular course. That means that Snowflake, uh, a cloud-based data warehousing platform requires a range of skills. One skill is not sufficient, sir. Range of skills to work with this particular platform. Here are the some skill sets uh, that are re really required in order to make your transition easy from your existing skill set to this particular snowflake. Job demand in US and Europe, uh, these are all the things that you are having here because uh, many of the industries and the domains, the banking, the finance, the retailer, insurance, BFSI, Okay, along with healthcare, stock markets, and uh, retail sector, real estate, insurance industry. These are all the industries uh, that, are, that started considering Snowflake uh, as their futuristic uh, visionary in order to migrate, lift and shift their existing data optics into this uh, Snowflake. That's the reason. Uh, people are really going here. I told you right, the healthcare, finance and retail and insurance, these are all the sectors uh, where they want to do uh, their unique uh, data analytics uh, in terms of uh, predictive and prescriptive analytics. Uh, everybody is considering uh, this uh, data warehouse, Snowflake data warehouse as their platform for the purpose of doing their uh, analytical skill sets in this particular case. Hope that is clear to you guys. Okay, now, and here this is important. 
for ai and machine learning integration also as well this is gaining a really popular momentum in order to make your uh, life uh, efficient with respect to snowflake also as well these are all the things that uh, people started focusing basically okay now how to get started with snowflake building a career in the snowflake is uh, these are the steps that we are going to use first thing is uh, education foundation is really important that is something that is mandatory the second thing is that uh, learn a skill as i have told you i'll be providing you all the inputs that are really required in order to make you yourself proficient within sql the third thing that we do what you do is that uh, gain data warehousing knowledge we'll be doing this one also as well and uh, we also need this uh, learn snowflake so in the next uh, 35 to 40 days you'll be learning this snowflake uh, in detail hands on experience will be having you'll be creating a snowflake free trial version for 30 days and if it expires again you'll be creating another free trial account and uh, you'll be working on all the use case scenarios utilizing all the features of snowflake their best practices what to do and what not to do so in order to make uh, these things efficient with respect to snowflake and uh, if you guys are really interested in doing your certifications i can provide you the complete knowledge with respect to this snow pro core along with respect to this uh, snow pro advanced also as well stay updated with the help of our uh, dear muchal rao garu we are going to create a whatsapp group and within that whatsapp group i uh, will be sharing you all the required uh, information and knowledge uh, that makes you proficient with respect to the snowflake also i am going to do and we are going to create a very good network i told you right in one month uh, of course in one month only with respect to snowflake uh, i have met some 125 people so you will be the part of that particular network and whatever the help uh, support and uh, job market things what you are having here will be able to support you i am not assuring you any job but what we will do is that whatever the things that are required in order to make you market ready for the particular job market uh, will be supporting you both here and uh, there also as well and specialize uh, in uh, the etl and uh, this one also. this is important tuning uh, modeling performance and detail these are all the things that are going to play a predominant role in this one here job search also you need to do might be harsha trainings uh, might be helping you in uh, uh, helping you to find the respective jobs or else uh, you will be having the jobs that is something that you need to do in creating your resume building and all those things and continuous learning is also important so if you try to follow this particular pattern more or less uh, you will be good at uh, trying to secure your job with respect to the skills of course the soft skills which i don't want to demand much on that one here with respect to this career progression here in this case certification updates is very much important because uh, you need to really understand what are the new happenings that are happening in this particular snowflake uh, you need to really look into and then uh, uh, make your things happen in this particular case okay market value proposition i have told you right when we talk about snowflake it is about data analysis data storage and much more it is a perfect platform for data engineering and uh, data lakes data warehousing data science and everything is related only to the data that's the reason what happens is uh, elasticity scaling and concurrency is going to be there for each and every organization which are considering uh, using the snowflake uh, 250 petabytes of data with uh, 515 million plus workloads uh, running each day this is what is the capacity of snowflake uh, as for the article provided by this growth of the snowflake here basically which is in 2021 now it has been quadrupled or uh, five times it has gone bigger in this particular case here is a saas platform software as a service platform this is one is and uh, multiple organizations are using this cloud computing services to gain useful insights from the huge volumes of the data that's what we are going to do Two fifths of the five hundred fourteen five hundred companies started uh, utilizing data analysis for their data analysis needs, and uh, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon are also using Snowflake. And Snowflake is not a 
cloud service provider sir it is a cloud data platform that we do here snowflake has been running with snowflake version with this three chains since long so that's why we'll be doing all these particular things why should we learn snowflake uh, the first thing is that uh, relatively new and fresh in the cloud data warehouse space purposefully built only for the cloud platform third thing is that unique features like uh, workloads and everything basically and uh, it is going to have the time travel and all the other features that you are going to have making sure that uh, these are all the efficient features uh, that we can use uh, uh, while using this particular snowflake and then pay for the second model these are all the new features that has been learned in this particular snowflake and then i have told you uh, i'm not going to drag this particular course long that's uh, but it's going to be a boot camp that is going to focus on the required uh, analytics we start with this uh, artificial concepts uh, connecting loading of the data and uh, we'll also go with this uh, semi structured data and structured data we'll talk about this uh, copy cloning time travel and all those particular things we'll talk about this data pipelines a lot sharing the data within this snowflake okay along with uh, we'll be discussing the security aspects the performance tuning and integrations with the uh, tableau python and uh, all the other things also we'll be doing in this particular curriculum basically okay that's how this course is expected to work out ecosystems ci cd pipelines also will be working on uh, similarly also as well okay that's the reason don't force to fit yourself uh, when you don't belong but i do provide this uh, collection of this boot camps uh, uh, trying to make you fit for this data warehousing and uh, data analytics courses basically okay that's how this course is going to be so that's it from my side why are we using snowflake and what are the things that are really required to get into this snowflake market uh, i have told you but uh, the only one thing is that uh, uh, we really don't have any specific date at this particular point of time to announce most probably it will be starting in the next uh, 10 days like uh, uh, october 15th or 16th let me let me see this count here october uh, 16th or 17th this is the time frame where we are planning to start but uh, harsha trainings and myself will be intimating you in case if you have come as a reference from my side okay i have 10 minutes left if you have any questions please let me know i'll be able to answer them thank you so much please let me know guys Bhaskar, is that clear to you what we did today? Hello, sir. Sir, uh, I, I understand, sir, but confusing. I am present now, uh, learning a de developer developer, sir. Okay. Uh, how do how do my life say? Uh, Man, is this clear to you? Yeah, it's clear. Thank you, Remington. Are you are you clear with what we did today? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, is this uh, entirely? Um, so, I am a database administrator. So, we uh, are working on the different uh, platforms. So, it 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 will be like. Uh, oriented at with application and database itself have uh, been inbuilt within uh, uh, whatever the collective yeah so in, if uh, if uh, in amazon we will have uh, everything so it, not in everything for example application need to be in a ec2 instance and and database will be in a different uh, for example aurora will be in a rdms and uh, like different uh, platforms so the snowflake will be inbuilt with uh, all the everything will within the same category okay okay so but here it is going to be in one platform one platform okay. there is okay. no need to in integrate and interact with multiple layers in order to do your customization configurations and all those things there is nothing to do for you everything is that uh, 
since it is going to be a software as a service platform everything happens only within the single interface itself basically everything else is going to be taken care by snowflake yeah okay. so uh, also uh, each uh, if you uh, mostly we are using in amazon okay everything will be uh, like whatever we use uh, it will be the cost for the customers yeah so how the, it, this this will be because uh, some of the part will be based on storage level and some of them will be based on the uh, class level instance class level so is this the same kind of pricing snowflake is going to snowflake is going to normalize all those particular costs and then it is going to provide you the cost which happens to be uh, very less cost when compared to your cloud cloud service providers in a very repeatable okay. fashion basically yes so so it will be same like uh, amazon that the servers will be apart from all yeah. the either it will be amazon google cloud or uh, azure also as well any one thing is okay. good yes so we we need to select it like uh, yeah, we need to select oh, what it, yes. yeah okay thank you ravi it's uh, really uh, uh, i know that it, it is came across uh, different platforms so earlier that it uh, uh, i believe for uh, uh, data migrations or data there will be a big data a tool will be used for the yeah. everything but here so it now, is a simplified interface very simplified interface yeah. going to help us basically yes just now i had uh, yesterday only kathi message me there is a demo yeah yeah on the snowflake yeah okay. just keep... now yesterday only i know that snowflake there is uh, something new in the technology yeah so i'll i'll keep you posted when this uh, batch is going to start and then we'll take it from there okay yeah thank you very much thank yeah. you so much uh, shravan and uh, srinivas you guys are okay with what you have done today fund fund kalyan yes yes we are okay sir. how about shravan shravan i think he doesn't have the mic that's okay so so baskar you are telling something yeah i didn't get you hello sir i am i am a pharmaceutical background sir previous mm -hmm. uh, present now i choose to it career sir mm -hmm. go to uh, the uh, which course was best i will come to think sir already are learning on devops sir present now arsha training mm -hmm. uh, present now snow flag that attend the today are demo sir so one thing i can say to you is uh, if you want to flourish your career in database data oh. warehouse and reporting and analytics uh, this would be the best platform okay and whatever oh. you have already learned in uh, uh, harsha trainings won't uh, spoil your thing but it will also help you out okay, okay. So with oh. your interest if you want to learn i can assure you that you'll be having a good uh, good subject okay. and good skill okay. set that you will be learning basically i can assure you on that one sir basically okay okay yeah so i thank remington i have talked funkalyan are you okay right funkalyan yeah so we'll stop here and then uh, harsha trainings will be letting you know when this course is going to start till that point of time thank you so much stay tuned and then i'll be providing you the updated information and then we'll take it from there thank you so much everyone personally for joining this particular sessions and uh, thank you so much uh, michal rao sir for coordinating this particular session we'll talk to you soon guys okay have a good day ahead thank you